During an interview with Tucker Carlson this week, apparently forgetting that Tucker Carlson said that he hated Trump with a passion in those text messages revealed in the Dominion lawsuit, Donald Trump claimed that when he went into the courthouse to be arrested last week, the workers were crying. They were sobbing tears of pain and remorse and regret because they were so sad that they had to arrest the twice impeached former president of the United States. Here is what Donald Trump told Tucker Carlson. They were incredible when I went to the courthouse, which is also a prison in a sense. Like, okay, I'm gonna have to go ahead and stop right there because no, like it's a prison in a sense. Like what, what does that even mean? Like, that's just a meaningless thing you threw in so that you could gather your thoughts to then tell your lie. Like you throw in the little bit of filler. So your brain has time to catch up and, you know, <laughs> I guess avoid lag. And then you tell your lie. They were incredible. When I went to the courthouse, which is also a prison in a sense, they signed me in and I'll tell you, people were crying. People that work there professionally work there as opposed to just like the amateur people, like the rookies, I guess we're talking about the pros professionally work there that have no problems putting in murderers and they see everybody. It's a tough, tough place. And they were crying. They were actually crying. They said, I'm sorry. And of course, Tucker Carlson being the coward that he is, didn't push back on any of these claims from Donald Trump, even though there's actually video by the way, of Trump going into the courthouse where the workers there didn't even hold the door for him. Like the door almost hit him in the face because the workers there didn't give a crap about Donald Trump. Okay. Now, if you were in a courthouse where I live down here in this deep red County, maybe you'd have had some courthouse workers crying for you. Maybe if you were in Texas, you'd have had some folks crying, but dude, we're talking about Manhattan where you are historically unpopular. These people do not like you. So if you're going to tell a lie, you at least have to make it somewhat believable, right? But you just, you just went out there like, nope, they were sobbing. These are professional workers, not the amateurs at the other courthouses. Like that another statement that doesn't mean anything. Nobody was crying. And if there were any tears in that courtroom, by the way, bud, they were probably tears of joy that you were finally facing at least a little bit of accountability. That may have been a thing that happened. Perhaps you misinterpreted it. Maybe they were saying, I'm sorry that this didn't happen sooner. I'm sorry that you haven't already been indicted in Georgia and by the uh, grand jury in Washington, DC at the DOJ. I'm sorry that it took so long for us to finally bust your ass. Those are things that I would believe Donald Trump may have heard, but he didn't hear people sobbing tears of anguish. There weren't sad people walking around that courtroom, letting doors hit you in the face. That's not a thing that happened, but of course, Tucker Carlson, as I said, he's not going to push back on it, but there's also nobody to corroborate that story. You weren't the only person in the courthouse at the time. And you would think if there was widespread tears, one of your lawyers who loves going on TV would have told that story. You would have thought that some of the workers there would have come forward and said, this is a travesty, but, but no, there, there's nobody to corroborate, which leads us to of course, come to the conclusion that as per usual, you're just a big fat liar. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the fair and balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like comment and share, but again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen oh, not be so grumpy.